Naturally Rhonda here. For all my old time subscribers, I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for tuning into my videos every week. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, stay a while, check out some of my other content. I post weekly natural hair videos. I also do Treatment Tuesday videos that feature different deep conditioners and hot oil treatments and clay masks and all that good stuff. As you can see, my hair is already done. First, if you would like to see my tutorial on these mini twists, then I will leave that down below in the description box as well as up above in the cards. But today, I have something fun. I have a tag video. I'm doing the My Natural Hair tag created by Kimberly Sherell over here on YouTube. So it's pretty straightforward. She just came up with about 20 different questions. A lot of them are this or that, either or type questions. And I'm just going to answer them for y'all. I have them written right here. So if you see me looking down, I'm reading the questions. Number one, let them know what your hair type is. Normally, I don't even like to mention hair types because I don't believe in hair typing and all that because we all have various hair types in our head all at the same time. But for the sake of this tag, my hair type is like 3C, 4A. Number two, who is your current hair inspiration? I honestly feel like my hair inspiration, hair goals, will always be, first and foremost, the Glam Twins. I love them so much. They're gorgeous and their hair is just to die for, like, ugh. And then plus, I will always have a special, special place in my heart for them because they really helped me learn this whole natural hair journey. And they also taught me how to put on makeup too, so. I love them girls. They're just gorgeous too. Just I'd also have to say happy curl, happy girl, because I think we have similar hair and pretty much if a product works for her, it works for me. And her hair is also just gorgeous. And then when it comes to twists, my twist goals is still naturally Carlissa. She inspired me to start doing twists again because I was definitely a wash and go type of girl. That's all I was doing until I saw all of her juicy twists. I'm like, okay, I need to try it. I need to. So I love her. Low porosity or high porosity. I have low porosity hair. Hair porosity basically just speaks to how you have to moisturize your hair. So if you have low porosity hair, you do it one way versus if you have high porosity hair, you would do it a different way. Neither is good or bad, it's just different. Number four, when it comes to deep conditioners, do you prefer thick or slippery? I love me a thick, moisturizing deep conditioner. I know some people would say slippery because you can detangle with that, but I typically detangle with my conditioner anyway, so by the time I get to my deep conditioner, my hair has already been pretty detangled. So give me a thick, deep conditioner any day of the week, and I love it. Number five, twist out or braid out. Twist out. I used to do braid outs when I was still transitioning. I would do the braid outs with the perm rod at the end, but I haven't done that in so long. So twist outs for sure. Number six, wash and go or rod set, wash and go. I haven't had a rod set in years. Like, ooh, I was living in Maryland still. I'm gonna try to find a picture from my last rod set and insert that in and y'all will see it was years ago. Number seven, perm rod set or flexi rod set. If I had to choose, I'd say a flexi rod set. I'm really lazy, I should do more. I have flexi rods upstairs. I also have those magic curler things. I still haven't used those on my hair either. I need to do that. But I did film a flexi rod video for y'all that I will put down below in the description and up above in the cards if you're interested in seeing that. Number eight, do you wash your hair in the shower or in the sink? I'm definitely a shower girl. I've never tried washing my hair in the sink. I know some people swear by it, but it's just, it's not really my thing. I have my music in the shower, I have my little speaker, and I enjoy the whole process in the shower. I think, I don't know, maybe one day I'll try it in the sink. Number nine, do you air dry your hair or diffuse your hair? Neither. I sit under a hooded dryer. I used to air dry and then I used to diffuse. And once I started sitting under the hooded dryer, I haven't turned back since. I love it. Number 10, fleeky edges or as they are. 
as you can see my edges are not laid at all it's just the way they are we need to normalize not laying your edges if you want to lay your edges go off sis go ahead but you do not have to if you do not want to your hair is still cute i have nothing against laying edges i just get lazy <laughs> number 11 deep conditioners or oils i will always always choose deep conditioners because quite frankly the deep conditioner in my opinion is the vip it's the most important product you have in your arsenal because a deep conditioner a good deep conditioner could be used to co-wash to detangle to moisturize and deep condition and also as a styler because you could use a deep conditioner for a braid out or a twist out number 12 high bun or low bun Hi bun. I can appreciate a nice low bun. It's a very sleek, sophisticated style, but I tend to gravitate towards high buns and high puffs. Number 13, Bantu knots or finger coils. I don't really do either one of those styles myself, so I'll just say Bantu knots because I think they're really cute. Number 14, protective styling in the summer versus in the winter. I honestly will do a protective style whenever I feel like doing one. The season doesn't matter. Now I think that people probably do protective styles in the winter because it's colder outside and similar to how you wanna put on extra moisture on your skin in the winter time. You wanna protect your hair from drying out in the winter as well. And then I think in the summer, it's just convenient, you know? Like there's so much going on, people going on vacation, it's so hot out. You just, you don't feel like being bothered sitting there doing your hair all the time. So just throw some box braids or something in there and be good number 15 bonnets or headscarves primarily i wear headscarves because most of the time my hair is out whether it's a wash and go or a twist out the only time that i wear bonnets now is if my hair is still twisted like it is now i actually do something a little more than just a bonnet so if you would like to see how i preserve my twist styles then i will leave that video down below in the description box as well as up above in the cards you can check that out later number 16 wide tooth comb or detangling brush definitely a detangling brush my absolute favorite detangling brush that i've tried is the felicia leatherwood detangling brush and that's a black owned brand hello so i will also leave the link to her website if you're interested in picking up that brush down below in the description box as well number 17 t-shirt or microfiber towel i prefer to use a microfiber towel i love my turby twist i got mine off of amazon i will try to find the link to that and put that in the description box as well for y'all if not, I know I've definitely seen it on, at Bed Bath & Beyond and I've also seen it at Walmart, I think. Either way, just please make sure that you are not drying your hair with a traditional terry cloth towel because that fabric promotes more frizz. So if you don't have a microfiber towel, any old regular t-shirt would work number 18 gel or no gel i love me some gel so of course gel please <laughs> number 19 length or health i love me some long hair some long luxurious hair but i will choose healthy hair over long hair any day of the week because if my hair is healthy enough it'll still grow long so i'm good number 20 side part or middle part honestly it just depends on the way the wind blows it just depends on how i feel that day i've done middle parts i've done right side i've done left side it just it doesn't matter the last question number 21 plastic cap or grocery bag i prefer a plastic cap but i am not above using a grocery store bag in a pinch that's about it for this fun little tag video i'm not gonna tag anyone because that's just not really my style but if you would like to do this tag i will definitely leave the list of all of these questions down below in the description box this is the point in the video where i I like to point your attention to some of my other content like two of my first impressions videos my first impressions on the main choices doesn't get much better than this and my first impressions on thanks period underwear i love you for watching y'all please be safe out there and i'll see you in the next one